this video, I'm going to show you kind of a creative concept or just something that you can use. It's really good for um, trips tied in, really something that's it's good for anything, but it's a great concept. It used to be something that was super, super um, powerful, and I think it's still got some power in it, and I think it's still got some effectiveness in it. And this is Smart Routed Outroutes. I'm going to teach you today one of the best routes in Madden that nobody really uses. And that is the Smart Routed Out route to be able to beat man-to-man, -to, -man, to be able to beat zone, to be able to beat a lot of defenses that you're going to see um, in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn the rest of my Trips Tied In offensive ebook, I would really, really encourage you to go ahead and join my Patreon membership. I will put a link in the description below where you can go check that out. For just $10, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive strategy guides. In addition to that, we also get you um, every single week updates to the membership to kind of keep you on top of the game as it changes out throughout the weeks. Um, but anyways, guys, if you want to get that, that'll be linked in the description below. And let's take a look at this. So first and foremost, we're going to do this with no zone drops um, to, to kind of walk you through this concept. And I like, you can do this out of anything. Um, I personally want to teach today um, specifically out of, you know, you know, any any trips tied in play because it is a specific motion that you can do at a trips tied in that I think makes this really, really, really good. Again, you can do this out of anything. Well, today we're going to teach this um, out of the play curl flat um, just because it's kind of the same basic concept. Now, you can leave this curl out here, but I think putting him on a smart routed out route is really, really helpful. And then what we're going to basically do is we are going to put Johnson on a curl or a hitch. We're going to put our tight end on a flat. And then we're going to put our circle receiver. Now, you could put him on a flat route you could, or you could put him on a zig. I like to put him on a zig um, just because it helps with shaded man coverage. And what you're going to see here is if they don't have um, a good zone, this out route is going to get wide open. Just basically quick to the outside, um, you're going to be able to uh, get him open. So again, just put him on a smart routed out route. You want to be on like a first and 10 ideally. And what you'll see is you're just going to throw an outside pass lead against cover four. That is going to be very consistent. Now let's say that they have hard flats. One of the benefits of this concept is the fact that the when we motion the triangle receiver, it's going to suck in this zone. And what that's going to do a lot of times is make this a lot better. So you see here, this is hard flats. You see he's going to guard the flat, but he's not going to guard that out route every single time. So that's cover four with hard flats. I want to show you a, um, a curl flat so or a curl flat zone. So here's a curl flat out of cover four. And again, we're just going to motion this guy over, put him on a curl. So we basically have the curl flat concept on both sides of this formation. And you're going to pass it outside and notice that the curl flat is not going to guard it either. In my opinion, the curl flat is one of the better zones in the game to try to guard this and they don't do it. Now I want to show you something else. I want to show you a hidden motion on a trip side in um, when you're on the wide side of the field. So you see my trips are to the wide side of the field. It's the best way to run this concept. What we're going to do is we're going to motion this receiver Johnson to the left. Do not motion him to the right, motion him to the left. If you were flipped in this formation, then you would just motion him to the right. Um, you just want to motion him to the trip side. What that will do is it will put him in the perfect position to run this curl route on the right side of the screen. So you'll see right now that this curl route is right where we want it. We want it to be just outside of the numbers, but not all the way to the sideline. It's the best position on the field to run curl routes in my personal opinion. Now we're going to show you a cloud flat from that nickel corner. What you'll see is a lot of times this cloud flat is still going to kind of, he's going to kind of look at the flat because the flat is the first route that he has seen in his zone drop. And because of his, um, because he sucks inside so bad, right? So what a lot of times will happen is they will basically kind of like hesitate to get to the out route. And this is why this smart routed out route, just pass lead it outside, is really good. As you can see, cloud flat doesn't guard it, curl flat doesn't guard it, quarter flat doesn't guard it, nothing guards this route. Now I'm gonna audible over to cover three. 
And we'll show you real quick that the cover three is also going to struggle to defend this route. Why? Because this flat zone is right here, especially if he's pressed. But you'll see just pass lead outside. You see that out route. And you see how fast that gets open. It's going to be able to beat any kind of blitz. Um, one of a, a very popular blitz in this year's game is to basically do this. This is an incredible, incredible concept for a blitz like this. None of their matching. A lot of people like to match trips set in right now with some different quarters and tricks like that. That's not going to work against this. They're going to basically give up this out route. Just throw it to the outside. As you can see, super fast. It's becoming one of my favorite routes in the game. So what does this force your opponent to do on that side of the field? Well, they're going to basically have to have a cloud flat out there to be able to guard the out route. So the way that it's going to look is basically like this. And you'll see here that this is a cover two with a cloud flat. Now, a cover two with a cloud flat, though, is not going to guard the curl route on the backside. But what you'll see here is if I try to force feed this out route, it's, I mean, it kind of still caught it, but obviously the jam, everything, you know, included with everything they're going to do, it's just not going to be there. Like, it's just the bottom line is if they run Tampa 2, especially if they don't set zone drops, that out route is going to basically be guarded. And you just kind of have to understand that, just the way the game works, and it's fine. Like, they have to be able to counter it somehow, right? So you'll see here, um, the cover two is going to stop it. But guess what's open? Your little flat. Your little flat is wide open. If you wanted to do a zig, um, what's interesting about this game is if you run a flat to that outside, that number two slot, he's not really that open. Okay, he won't be he won't be able to run with the ball. Um, he'll be open, but he won't be able to basically use it. Right? If you run this zig to circle. This zig will basically be a really good route for man coverage if they're not pressing, if they're not shading underneath and man, he'll get open. Another thing that it's good for though is you'll see against these clouds, um, a lot of times you'll be able to pick up a couple of extra yards just because you have a zig. Now the other thing that I want to quickly point out to is that they're going to basically have to do this. You're going to see that they're going to have to drop this guy in a hard flat, this guy in a cloud flat. So they're going to have to double flat on that side to be able to defend this concept. Or they're going to have to man him up one of the two things, right? Um, and that's why sometimes I'll put the zig out there if they're running more man coverage. So what we'll do is they can't really blitz if they're going to double flat because they just don't have the resources to be able to do that. So now what we can do is come back over here and we can hit our little angle route over the middle of the field. Now, another thing that you can do with this curl is if you want to, you can put him on a hitch. And I'll show that real quick. Um, so you can put this guy on a hitch and do the unguardable hitch concept. Um, I've done a video on that here on the channel. But basically what that means is a hitch concept that's on the numbers. You'll see right here. A lot of times it'll get open. If it doesn't, throw your flat to the tight end. Now, why would that hitch not be open? It has to do with the jam that we're getting out of cover two. So if we wanted to get around the jam problem that we're going to have with cover two, all we have to do is put him on a hitch and I'll show you, we're now going to, instead of motioning him to the left, we want him to keep going because of the jam problem we're having, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to motion him to the right. So he keeps running. And then when he, you see how that corner is going to move and we're going to snap the ball right about here. And you'll notice that the vert hook will basically drift away and you'll be able to throw this route. I know that this is a very fairly simple concept, but it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite plays um, in the game. Now, I want to show you one last thing with the, with the coverage, and then we're going to show you something that you can do that is really effective um, or really the best way the defense can counter it. So let's say, for example, that they're running a Mabel coverage. And just for today, I'm going to show this as a 10-yard curl flat. I think the 10-yard curl flat is one of the best zones in the entire game this year. And what you're going to notice here is we're going to set up our double Mabel. Now your curl will be wide open, by the way. Okay. Um, your curl on this left side will be open or your hitch, whatever you decide to do um, because of where he's at on the field. But if they run something like this and we can see how we can do this out of anything. If you are um, obviously you can do it out of curl flat, if you want the running back angle route, if you don't care about the running back angle route, you could do it out of anything. Uh, but anyways, Watch the out route on the left. You're going to see here that the 10 yard curl flat, even though he's zone dropped at 10 yards, he's not going to get out there. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's because of the, it's because the D it's because we suck him inside. I'm going to come back to that in just a second. But as you can see, um, you know, we're still able to hit 
uh, this route very consistently. I'm going to put the slot corner on, um, you know, a, a, a route here. And then we're going to have our purple on the right side, kind of mabling. This is also a very popular defense for the way that people like to defend trip side in. So another thing that you're going to notice with this concept is let's say we wanted to you know have a little extra protection or whatever but i want you to watch the out route this time the purple is coming from the slot corner you see it still gets out there so as long as i have outside leverage and i can get the ball outside i just want to throw away from the defense essentially now the other thing that i want to quickly point out to is the best thing that they can do to guard this is base align and even when they base align i want you to notice something notice that this corner is still inside fairly significantly he's not going to suck all the way in here but this is the corner and he's on a curl flat at 10 yards which is where the smart routed out route's going to go and when you motion this guy in he's not going to move because they base aligned right so now what you're going to notice is obviously we have a misalignment on that left side i'm not going to dive too far into that for i'm not going to worry too much about that today but i want to show you something here this purple it plays it a lot better but there is still a small window in which you can hit this um, and in which you can hit this route and I'll show it to you here um, in just a second so if they base line and press you see how this guy's gonna come inside okay but he's not gonna go as far as he would on this motion also notice that the corner on the right side is outside this is why this curl route becomes very very good so if we have this curl route it'll be really really wide open okay but the other thing that I want you to notice is if you watch this out route I'm gonna wait on it a little bit and I'm gonna high ball and outside pass lead it and a lot of times you can still catch it. As you can see right there, he can't quite react to it. Um, and, and, and that's kind of one of the other things that you can do with this. So there's a lot that you can do just in terms of this out route. I think it's one of the more underrated routes um, in the game. The best thing they can do from a defense perspective is either go ahead and base a line like this with the curl flap. That's probably the best way to stop it. Um, the problem is if they did that, one thing we can do is we can instead of throwing it as instead of throwing it at 10 yards we're going to throw it at five yards and we're actually going to attach it to the circle receiver so we're going to take the circle receiver and we could do whatever we want with him so maybe put him on a hitch for example would be a great idea so we're going to put him on a hitch and then now we have this out route and then we've got the running back coming over the top right if we were in curl flat it looks something like this and if you watch this closely, you'll see that this curl flat, even though he's going to just run right out there immediately, he's still not going to get there. This forces the defense to have to call cover two on that left side. And then what you can do is go to a four verticals play that looks something like this right here. And when we catch them like this, we'll catch them slipping because they're going to be in a Tampa two defense. And they're probably going to be baseline, by the way. Maybe they already set it up before we even get on the before we even do this motion you know these are all very possible things but all we're going to do now is we're still going to motion this over and we're going to make it look fairly similar but instead of motioning triangle we're going to motion this receiver and what you'll notice is when we motion this receiver a lot of times what's going to happen is they're not going to notice they might be sleeping on defense you'll catch them napping and a lot of times now your four verticals can attack the defense down the field so this is one of my favorite concepts in the entire game this year. Um, I think it's super underrated. The smart routed out route. And when you do this motion, it really helps because the nickel corner sucks inside almost every single time. It forces them to have to base align. And then you're going to get them in a position. Let's say you catch them and they're base aligned like this, for example. A lot of times, I'm just telling you, this uh, fade on the left side will a lot of times you can pass lead that to the outside and have a chance at least for a user catch. Um, if you have a faster receiver and mud, that could potentially be a bomb, even if they're in cover four. Remember, we also showed that they basically have to be in cover two for this to be able to be guarded. And if that's the case, you can still run something like this. If they're giving you this baseline look, you could run something like this. But now we're just going to put him on a fade and then we're going to take Johnson. We're still going to put him on his route. We're still going to have all of this stuff going over here on the right side. It's just now we're going to run four verticals on the back side of this. So we're still basically running the curl flat to the right, but now we're running four verticals, right? And this fade on the left is one of the best routes in the game for beating cover two. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this offense and trips tied in and all of the things that you can do from it, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month to sign up for that. 
and it gets you access to everything. You get all of our eBooks, you get all of our updates all year long, any new stuff, any old stuff, all of the stuff is there for you to be able to take your game to the next level. Thank you for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video, click the link that I put down there and you can go check out the membership.